Happy Tuesday. I hope that you are doing well. Only two days until Thanksgiving. I hope you are enjoying the week, or if you are preparing for a large Thanksgiving meal, I hope that you're getting that under control. And may you have a fun and minimum stress holiday. No, I said minimum. There will be some stress. Uh, anyway, I'm Jane. I'm your host, Jane, here on the floor today. Uh, yeah, we're going to do legs today. And what you will need, I want you to grab heavy weights. We're going to be doing uh, low reps uh, with heavy weights. Um, we're just going to be doing a few basic moves uh, because what I want to do is focus on uh, 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 saying, uh, I want to focus on a banded, mini band glute workout on the floor. Maybe we'll do the standing. We'll figure it out as we go along. And then I also want to make sure that I have time, 10 minute abs. How are you doing? CW, are you there? Yeah? Hello, hello. I'm going to start the music. I've got my headset on. There is a playlist in the, you know, the usual place. So I'm going to start in three, two, one, press play. But we're going to warm up on the floor today. So we're going to start with the feet wider than shoulder width. You can have press your leg buzzer hands just to sort of keep them out of the way. If you need to put them on the ground, that's okay too. But we are going to slowly move the knees to the side. Notice I'm making a little pinwheel shape. There we go. That's what I call it, pinwheel. I don't know, half of a pinwheel. We're going to go side to side, opening up the hips. Now, if you can't get your knees down to the ground, that is okay. It's not the end of the world. What I want you to do is just work on a range of motion. Don't force it. You may also notice that your butt starts to scooch up as we do this, and that happens too. It's okay. I've been feeling some funky stuff with my hips lately. We are going to swing it around, and we're going to do half frog. So we're gonna have one leg out to the side, beyond our knee, our leg goes straight back, not out or to the side, and we are going to lean forward and back. I see how much the weather like there in Raleigh, Durham area, the greater Raleigh, Durham area. Things here are beautiful. Oh my gosh, we had such a beautiful weekend. Um, we're sitting on the beach as we like to do. Let's go to the other side. And uh, my husband and I we were with a friend having lunch, and it was like, it feels like summer. It just felt, it was so nice and warm. It's starting to cool off, but now it's getting into the, like, I think, you know, mid-60s. And I uh, love it. It's beautiful. It's hot in the sun. Remember, the sun's hot. The night is not here. So just slowly rocking back and forth. You feel the stretch as you move your hips backward. All right. And then we're going to go into full frog if you're ready for it. Ah. Here we go. Ribbit. 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 Woo. All right. We're gonna do some we'll do some cat cow while we're here. All the all the animal noises. We got frogs, we've got cats, we've got cows. Stretching out that spine because we're going to do some torso work today. Gonna, let's see, what do I want to do next? Oh, let's basically work on, let's basically work on, what am I talking about? Let's work on some hip openers. So we're going to do hydrants. I want you to focus on keeping your hips square on the ground and not rotating them out to get more height. So it just looks like this. So open, close, do 10 of these, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keeping those hips pointing downward. Here we go, other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to come down on our stomachs, arms out to the side. We are in scorpion pose. We're going to kick one foot up, keeping both shoulders on the ground. Try to go to the other side, crossing that leg across your body. Up, 
Other side, keeping both shoulders in contact with the ground, so you may not touch the ground, and that's okay. This is a this is to stretch your spine out. Ooh. Feeling a little beat up today, and uh, yeah, my husband's feeling more beat up. You guys blew shot yesterday, so he's uh, not feeling so great today. Let's have our hands together, feet together, pressing up. We're going to have a scorpion series. So we did the scorpion kickovers first. And we're going to come down, hands at head height, or back position, and uh, feet shoulder width apart, pushing up. Ooh. Switching our back, spine, all that good stuff. Come on down slowly, hands by your shoulders, if you feel comfortable doing that, otherwise keep them by your head. Pushing up one more time. Looking up, extending the arms straight. Ooh. All right, now we're going to flip it over. Oh, look where fun begins. All right, you're going to have both legs out straight to start. Bring in one leg. Try to bring it to 90 degrees with your knee straight and your foot flexed as best as you can. And then slowly bring it as close to you as possible. Out. Get your little pulses. 10, 9, 8. Very gently. This, for me, this is painful. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna take that leg, you're gonna bring it across your body. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Keep breathing. So come up, across the body. Ooh. Come up, three, up, four, up. One more time, five, bring it there. Bring your knee close to you, keep the foot flex, extend, keeping the knee close to your chest. Two, <laughs> look how well I can extend, three, four, five. Now bring it across your body, keeping your shoulders on the ground and press into that knee, press it down against the ground so you can stretch your glute. This is where my headphone falls out. All right, let's slowly go to the other side. So, leg is up, straight as you can, foot flex, and then bring it closer to you. You may be here and be like, ow, that's horrible. But just do what you can. 10, 9, little gentle pulses. 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, hold it straight, bring it across your body. Ooh. Back up, cross body, and up. Three more times, cross, up, cross, up. One more time, cross, up. Hook your Hand in your knee pit, keep it close to your chest. Here we go, foot flex, extend, 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 extend. Here we get five or 10 on this side, oh well. Do three more times, three, two, this one I feel is a little better. One, then arms out, cross it across your body. Try to get the stretch in that glute. Probably feel a spinal twist too. All right, you're gonna have both knees up, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, arms out to the side. You're gonna open one knee, keeping the other up. Go as far as you can while keeping your hip forward and then out. Go to the other side. Oof. Yeah, my right hip has some sort of impingement going on, which is impressive because just alternating sides, by the way. Normally, it's been my left side of my body that's all messed up. I'm glad that my right side is getting in the action too. One more time each side. Oh, ow. Another side. And shake it up. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? I hope you are doing well. We're going to get up. I'm going to catch up on my stuff. Oh my gosh. We have a. Uh, why is my mic so low? Sorry to hear that. Um, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hello, 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 is this thing on? Um, 
I will try to talk louder. Maddie? So glad to see you. You know, I was actually thinking, Maddie, I was like, when am I going to get to work out with Maddie? It's been so long. So as I said today, we're going to start with very, we're, the first part of this workout is just going to be very simple. Okay? Not going to do anything crazy. Sorry, I'm checking something out. All right. So grab your heaviest weights. You're going to do some straight up squats. Okay. And I'm going to give you a little uh, hint today. So if you have a hard time, so, so normally when you want to squat, you want to make sure that you squat down to chair height without hinging all the way forward. If you hinge forward too much, a little technique that you can do to help with that is to take some small weights. If you have a couple dumbbells, now you don't have to use weights, it could be like a book or anything like that. And you can put your heels on them and it'll allow you to get lower while keeping your chest up, okay? So I'm gonna do that today. And, uh, oh, that's so weird. Um, hold on, I'm gonna do a quick mic thing. Okay, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I don't know why it's not doing anything. Apparently I can't do anything. I don't know how to fix it, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, sorry, I don't know why it's so uh, quiet. I'm seeing on my microphone, I see like one or two uh, green lights light up and I don't know what's why because I made sure I checked the right mic. Um, hold on for one second. Talk amongst yourselves. Microphone set up. Here we go. I don't want to set it up for speech recognition. No. Ah. Okay. I will try to talk loudly. Here we go. So grab some heavy weights. We're going to do squats. Oh. We are going to be doing... I'm going to go for, uh, we're going to go for four sets in the six to eight range, okay? So depending on where you are, I want you to try to get nice and heavy. And uh, I've been chatting as much as I should be. I'm sorry about all the crazy stuff going on. All right, so let's do round one, shall we? If you have something for your feet, you don't have to, but you might want to try with some elevated heels. Here we go. Chair height, you bow shoulder width apart. Three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, oh, six. Oh, I'm going to take a break there. Maybe I'll do it again on the next one. We'll find out. How'd that go? We're going to do three more sets. I'm going to get a little more center of the camera. All right, I'm gonna set one more thing on this camera. Can you hear me any better? Let me know. All right, we'll go with round two. Here we go. Sorry, three, two, one, here we go. Down, up. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to try two more. Eight. Six eight reps. You should be going really heavy on these. Whew. How are you feeling? Did that work? High five. We're going to start in another 10 seconds. So grab your weights. Okay, 
Here we go. Three, two, one, and down. Two, three. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Four, back straight. Five, six, seven, eight. Take a break. Okay, my volume is getting a little better. I'm trying to project from the diaphragm. We've done three or four sets. We've got one more set. Again, heavy reps or low reps, heavy weight. Let's get started. Really emphasize range of motion. Three, two, one. On six. Oh, good job. I'm gonna be wrecking my weights. If you use weights for your heels, you can put those away. Good job. How you doing? Good job, good job. All right. Grab some water. We're gonna do uh, some split lunges next. I'm not going to grab my heaviest weights because these are hard for me. All right. So again, actually, I'm going to get a little heavier because I want to do low reps. So I'm just to myself, what are you doing, Jane? What are you doing? Okay. So split lunge, feet start shoulder apart. You're going to take a step forward. You can set up without the weights if you need to. Try to get that bottom back knee low, keeping your torso upright. Six to eight each side. Here we go. Three, two, one, and down. You don't have to touch your knee, but you want to get close. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Swap it out. Oh, we've got four rounds of these. Why? Why? Here we go. Three, two, one, and down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. We have three more rounds of that. I'm not happy about it. How do you feel? You may notice that your heart rate's getting up. Large muscle groups, he'll do that. All right, go back. We've got round two. Here we go, three, two, one and down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. These are heavy. <laughs> so finishing a set of eight is a challenge. You should be feeling the same way. If you're not, if you feel like you can do a lot more, you need to up your weight. If you don't have any heavier weights, well then you can do more, but I really prefer heavy and low reps. Here we go, three, two, one, other side, down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 
Eight. We've got two more sets, and unfortunately, we have two sides of our body. So, here we go. Three, two, one, and down. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Whew. Give some weights down. I'm taking photos. I'm taking glamour shots today. Always good. Gotta feed the social media beast. Here we go. Three, two, one, and down. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and ooh, eight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this sucks. I hate these so much. Oh. How you doing? How you doing? So no comment from NC. I'm going to assume that you're doing okay. Or maybe you just can't hear me at all. Ugh. Or maybe they're like me. And you're like freaking tired right now. All right. Last round. Praise Jesus. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. <laughs> two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh. How are you guys doing? Doing okay? Last round. Other side. Three, two, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take a break. Good job. I didn't know those weights were heavy enough. My form, keeping my form was a struggle. So, uh, it should have been doable, but it should have been hard. High five. Hope you had fun with that. All right. Grab some water. We are going to do, we're not doing classic squats today. Yay! We're just going to do some sumo squats. Okay, so I want you to grab something heavy, as always, all right? So remember for sumo squat, if you want to have the shoulder width, toes pointed out, they can be 45 degrees. If you want to do a full plie, that's all cool, we don't have to. Just nice wide sumo squat. Keeping your torso upright, I'm gonna hold the kettlebell like this. Okay? You can grab your dumbbell by the edges or in the center, whatever is comfortable. Okay? So you can do hold like this, hold like this. Anyway, just go down and up. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my quads are already coming. All right. Here we go. Six, eight, three, two, one, and down and up. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Making sure that your knees track over your toes. If there's a wobble, or if they go in a little bit, think about modifying your stance, okay? You wanna make sure to track over your, over your toes. Okay, not going in or out. How's it going? We've got three more sets of this. I'm just so happy that, I'm so happy that split squats are done. All right. Here we go, three, two, one, and down. Up, get nice and low. Squeeze glutes at the top. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Round two, complete. How you doing? Woo! Take a break, hang out. All right, we're gonna go into round three. Here we go, you ready? Three, two, one, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, one more round, yay! So anyway, uh, my husband got his booster shot yesterday, and so he's feeling not so hot right now. Uh, but we're actually doing a mix and match. We were team Pfizer, now we're gonna be part team Moderna too. So we're one third Moderna, so Pfizerna, 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 there we go. Got one more, one more round. And I did not get my shot today because I need to schedule the shit out. So I'm getting mine next Friday so that I can feel miserable and not have to go to work. All right, here we go, three, two, one, and down. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Woo, good job. Give me a high five. I'm sweating. I'm gross. How are you feeling? All right. Let's see. Who's down on time? You halfway point? Almost. So we are going to do deadlifts. All right. So I'm going to grab my 40 ounces again. As always, I'm going to talk about the form, feet shoulder width apart. You're going to start, hands, um, mid chin, so you're going to be down in this position. Notice that my back is flat, but almost parallel to the ground, okay? You're going to almost scrape the dumbbell along your shin, stand vertical, but not like this. Squeeze your glutes. And come to vertical. So, hinging at the hips, slight bend in the knees, and up, shift, and up. Okay, again, six to eight. Uh, we'll see how I'm feeling on these. I'm in the 40s in a while, I don't think. I actually haven't had a leg day, a dedicated leg day, in a while. I've been nursing a wounded fit, if you recall, last week. I saw him putting a ton of pressure on it. But I think it's more impact stuff than actual just standing on it. So anyway, give this a shot today. It's feeling pretty good so far. All right. Grab whatever weight you have. Here we go. Three, two, one, and up. And two. Three. 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take a break. If you notice, if you put your weights on the ground, picking them up, that's like half the battle. All right. Let's see. So if you got your booster shot, if you got your shot, junior action says, get max. It's what all the cool kids are doing. Me too. I'm not a cool kid, but you should get max. It's awesome. And, uh, you know, don't get sick. Nobody likes getting sick. I like getting sick. All right. Ugh. Here we go. Round two, starting at three, two, one, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, it's over here. That's round two. How did you do? Whew. You guys hear me at all? I don't know if you can, but anyway, I think you guys are awesome. Hope you can hear that. Uh, we're gonna go into round three. I'm gonna grab my weights. You may notice they're getting a little tired because we're not taking a ton of rest in between. Well, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One more time. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> All right, we've got one more round. Oh. I'm trying to think what else is going on. My foot's feeling, eh. Here we go, last round. Three, two, one, and one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, one more, and eight. Awesome job. Woo. How you doing? How you doing? High fives all around. So that concludes the dumbbell portion of this workout. We're gonna go into our bands, okay? So we are going to have the bands above the knees. And we're gonna do a little floor sequence. All right, so let's come on down to the floor. So let's start with some clamshells, shall we? She shells, she shells, shellfish, and does clamshells. Okay. So we're gonna start. So this is around our above our knees. You can have your head laying down like this, or you can have it supported, whatever's more comfortable. Hand is here to provide support. You can kick your legs out 45 degrees. Bend the feet back so your feet are in line with your torso, okay? Your heels stay together, but your feet, your toes come apart, okay? Go for height. I have a really heavy band on, so I may not do as many as I normally do. We'll see. Three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Let's go other side. Oh. Here we go, three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You're going to shake it out, and then we're going to go right back to the other side. Ah. Make sure your body is in line. Three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, less ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ow, 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 other side. Three, two, one, and one. Just lie here and contemplate life. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ah! Having fun yet? We are going to go back to the first side. We do a quick time check. And we are going to do more of those. But we're going to have our heels up. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew. Wait, what side did I start on? I'm a little confused. <laughs> All right. I think this is side two. Here we go. Round two, so your feet are up in the air. Otherwise, everything else is the same. Three, two, one, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh! What's it going over there? I see something new. Those hurt. I can tell you, I assure you, I'm in pain too. But I want you to do a quick check. Is it a burn pain? Or is it like, ow, oh, my hip hurts or something? Please pay attention. Because the first one is normal, the second one's bad. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh, oh, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. All right, this is the last round. I'm hoping that I didn't start on this side when I'm doing an extra set, but um, uh, these mess with my brain so much, I don't know. Here we go, three, two, one, and last 20. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, oh, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Oh, 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 good job. High five. 
I can give you one recently. Grab some water. I gotta tell you, these uh, fabric bands, wowie. They are crazy and intense in a good way. All right. Ugh. I'm gonna keep it above the knees. These are definitely stronger than my normal my latex bands. Um, yeah, more fun. So we're gonna get into this position. So you can be a quadruped on your forearms if you want, or you can be on your hands. You may want to be on your forearms if you have uh, wrist issues, okay? I am going to be on my hands. Making sure that you keep your core engaged and you're not letting your back arch or anything like that. This is where I to work for the camera. Don't do this. Nice flat back, pushing up, wave through your hands, okay? You're going to kick one leg back, and we're just going to lift. And as you lift, lead with the heel. Don't let the toe flare out, okay? So it's not kicking out like this. It's leading with the heel, okay? The range of motion may be decreased, and that's okay. Really think about just contracting that glute. Here we go. Three, two, one, and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus ten, nine, Eight, oh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oof. Shake it out. For some reason, I got a cramp in my opposite hip flexor. And that's just holding. <laughs> All right, here we go. Other side, three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, keep that toe pointing down, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew, shake it out. Do you feel your back start to arch? Think about tucking your hips under a little bit. You start to feel pressure in your low back. Stop, stop, tuck, and roll. I don't know, something like that. Remember, you're not looking down at your knees, even though you're very tempted. You're keeping your head neutral spine. I'm trying to focus on it myself. Here we go. Three, two, one, and lift. We're back on side one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Yeah, hip flexor, weird. It's only on the left side. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and one. How you doing? Good, good? Nice check in. Oh, all right. We're going to take the band off because we're going to do something very pseudo dancer like. Oh, I want to try to work out some of my hip opening techniques. So, we're going to do leg lifts. It's going to be the last move of this sequence because we're running out of time. Got to go to core. All right, so we're going to rotate. We're going to point the toes. We're going to rotate the top knee up, okay? So, instead of having your knee forward, you know how I always have you like have your toe turned in? We're going to have our toe pointed and our knee up towards the sky. I just want you to work on raising as high as you can, okay? We're gonna take these sort of slow. Think about pushing against your range of motion. How close, how far, think of an angle can you do? Here we go, three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, keep that knee up, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. So notice that when my hip is open like that, when my knee is turned up, I need a lot more range of motion. I almost look flexible. Ah, oh, it's awesome. All right, here we go, other side, three, two, one, and one, two, three. See if you can increase your range of motion as you go. Four, you gotta keep your legs straight. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. That's ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. We're going to go. One more time on the other side. Well, to both sides, but this time first. Here we go. Have that knee up. Three, two, and by the way, use your core to make sure you don't rack back and forth. Really try to keep everything up here as stable as possible. Three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. Got two sides of our body, so we're gonna finish this out. Here we go, this is the last move before core. Went by so quickly. I was like, I'm just gonna do 10 minutes. Well, 10 minutes, goodness, it goes by so fast. Here we go, three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, plus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Get on with legs. Good job. Nice so quickly. Oh. How's everybody doing? High fives all around, feeling good, feeling good? Hope so, grab some water. And we are gonna finish with 10 minutes of four. The headless trainer would like to say good job. How you doing? All right. Ready for core? My legs are a little wobbly. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to walk tomorrow either. I can already feel, uh, can already feel how bad it is. All right. With that being said, let's do ten minute abs you suck workout. We are gonna start in ten. And uh, let's see, what do I want to do today? Uh, I should probably figure that out. Here we go. Let's have hands on your butt. We're going to tap the heels. So notice I'm hinging at the hips. My knees are staying bent at 90 degrees. And I'm using the camera to make sure I come back up. I don't want to tuck my knees in too much when I come up. Don't have my heels too high. Just keeping everything at 90. Tap, 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 tap. Hands under your butt. If you're doing this, that's easy. 
This is not the mood. This is the mood. Got eight more seconds. And two, one. Come on your side. You're gonna reach up and down and up and down your hips. Your knees are stacked. You have your back bottomy bent. You can have your feet staggered. You can have your feet stacked. Your eyes follow your hand. Keeping your shoulders stacked above your elbow. Try and keep your head neutral as well. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep that hip up. Don't let it sag. 18 more seconds. Ooh. Ten more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Other side. Ah, quick, quick, quick. Everything's stacked. I had to reset. Sometimes you look down and you're like, I'm not stacked. This is where my headphones are going to fall out. Remember, you can have your feet stagger like that. You can have your knee down. If you're finding this challenging, maybe say I'm going to do the first 30 seconds, one level, and then the next 20 seconds, another level, and the last 10 seconds, the third level. Maybe that's the goal. Whatever you do, just keep going. If you need to take a break, Shake it out, get right back in. We've got five more seconds. And let's go into those plank sobs. Forward and back. Keeping your head neutral. You can have your hands flat if you want, or you can have them almost facing each other if that's easier. If you need to shake it out, just shake it out, get right back in. Remember, don't have your butt up in the air. This is plank saw, not bear crawl saw. You're ready to flip over in 15 seconds. You're like 15 seconds, jeez.
going, keep going. Three, two more seconds. Eight. All right, let's, uh, let's do scissor your legs. Oh. Remember, legs go very close to the floor without the heels touching. All right, this is where my hip will uh, do crazy stuff. Oh. How are you doing? You having fun yet? No, me neither. Oh. Lizzie loves company, so thank you for doing this with me. Oh, 15. Can you hear my hip clicking? Is the microphone that soft? Maybe you can hear gentle, the gentle clicking of my hips. Three more seconds. Two, one, flip it over. Gonna do quadruped toes off the ground or knees off the ground, holding this position, keeping your knees low. Otherwise, top of your body is in this like plank position, just for the amusement. Think about straight back, I'm doing a little adjustment there. So on your shoulders stacked over your wrists. If you get tired, just bring your knees down. Right back into it. Oh. I've run out of fast songs on my playlist. I'm sorry. Ah. I've got 18 more seconds. How could this be so miserable? Let me tell you. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on your side. You can bring one knee in, or you can bring both knees in. Have your arm out. There we go. Have the arm out in front. Hang in there. Hang in there. Keep going. We're going to flip sides in three, two, one. Flip sides. Got one more move after this. Almost done, almost done. Oh, last one is gonna suck though. Hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. All right, last move. Back flat against the ground, okay? Arms and legs both up in the air. Arms go overhead. You can have your head slightly off the ground. And then your legs are going to come down until your back starts to arch and then hold. Hollow body hold. Oh, shake it off if you need to. Reset. Arms overhead. Keep breathing, keep holding. Oh, I'm getting a wuss today. Oh. Reset. Hang in there, hang in there. Oh, we are almost done. Oh. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, you did it. You are awesome. You guys, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? You get a high five because you are so awesome. Oh. Good job, everybody. Apologize for all the uh, audio visual issues. I hope you could hear some of that at least. High five. Good game, good game, good game. New game, new game, new game. All right. We are all 
gooey. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just fell in my, in my glute. Okay, fun. Come back down. Uh, oh. Let's go to whatever straddle is available for you because you just worked all that. Arms out to the side, let's lean side to side, stretching that lower back. Oh my goodness. Good job today. You are that much stronger for showing up. It's always more fun to work out with friends. See the Maddie, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Working out with me, you guys rock. Open up to the side. I assume both of you worked out with me as opposed to just like watching, eating popcorn, watching this like a TV show. Oh, use the side, opening up the chest, turn towards the leg, forward fold. This is as far as I'm forward folding. Hmm. All right, come up, go to the other side. Oh, switching up that nice lower back, reaching to those fingertips, waving low. Come on up, forward fold. Uh, let's see, what do I want to say? If this workout makes you sweat, makes you smile, and you feel a kick in digital dollars by way of appreciation, pick up them on Zelle if you don't. If you don't, there's a handy dandy link. You can go and send me a donation. I've got my eye on these, uh, they're called blaze pods. I'm going to forward fold and tell you about them. They're expensive AF, um, but they're really cool. And if you work with me in person, uh, use them for like agility stuff, it'd be really cool. But they're expensive. So, donations go towards stuff like that. It also goes towards better lighting, better production, my website, helps me keep everything going. Hopefully, it helps provide better quality content to you. So, if you can do that, that would be greatly appreciated. Bring your legs together. Oof. Cross one leg over, stretch that glute. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Uh, I, I had a class this morning, it was glutes and core. What a coincidence. Um, but I'm also doing a bonus boot camp this Saturday at 10.30, normally it's at 9.30, but it's gonna be at 10.30. Uh, so if you're in Santa Barbara and you wanna get your butt kicked post turkey, uh, come and do that, or post whatever you eat for Thanksgiving, twist it out. So I know is having lamb, that sounds too good. And like Jane had a little ham. Mm. All right, just a little ham, you know, just not too much for the meat. Stretch that glute on the other side. I think that was all I wanted to say. I said, Happy Thanksgiving. I am thankful for all of you. Thank you for doing this workout with me. Thank you for liking and subscribing and all that jazz and following me on the Instagrams and all that BS. <laughs> Uh, I really appreciate everything you guys do. Appreciate your donations and all the compliments and just cheering me on. I, thank you. Thank you for motivating me. I hope I motivate you too. All right, we're gonna swing it around. We're gonna do that little frog again. Ooh, just gonna hang out there. Going to lie on our side. We're going to bring one foot back, keeping the knees together and the hips forward. Trying to stretch that quad. Ooh. Let's do the other side real quick. So that's all I've got for you this week. I hope that was sufficient. <laughs> Um, we're going to do one more quad stretch. If it's if it's accessible for you, just leaning back. If it's not accessible, you can go and do some more. You can do standing quad stretch. We can do that side line one again. Oof. And then come into Charles pose. Oh. All right, that is it, Maddie. See them. It was awesome working out with you today. It was awesome working out with all of you. If you watched uh, post, have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I will see you next week. Take care. I love you. Bye.